Hey, welcome back. I accidentally ended the recording. See, so missed a little bit. The conduit, but I don't know. But um, here we go. Uh. What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Not much margin for error. Alright, so here's where I'm gonna die, like, a hundred times over. This Krogan is an asshole, so we're... I've gotta think again on how I took him out the first 300 times. This guy, this guy is a dick. Time to deal with this idiot. Yeah, see? Okay, hold on. You, hold. And Kaden, I'm gonna put this directly on the Krogan Master's head, so if you miss, it's your dumbass fault. And I can't move because I'm apparently stuck to cover. So we gotta watch the crew here. Oh no! I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yep. Watch me die. Oh no. Oh fucking hell, please. Allow me to live, game. Allow me to live this one chance! Ah. Oh. Uh, let's see how far back I have to start. Hopefully it's right there at the cutscene, so uh uh. I still cannot believe it. Oh, let's skip all this because... The conduit. What the... We have to hurry. The... the hell was that? Mother. Look, there's our happy family. All staring at one another. I wonder what Shepard's staring at, though. Oh no. Okay, this was a bad idea. I'm down. And I'm dead. Okay. That was a dumb idea. Lesson learned, never run out of Krogan. They'll, they'll beat my ass over. Alright, so that's two. Now we only have about 98 more times to die before I just I, get I fucking pissed and just like, just say screw it, we're gonna jump cut. You know, I bet you Master Chief wouldn't last 10 seconds to get to this girl again. Some reason Krogans just have to be an asshole with their armor, and I am so glad that I only fight them once in this game. We don't have time. I don't like you. I'm 
down. Oh god, what the fuck? I'm dead again. I'm dead again. See you. I think I found the greatest spot ever. Let's equip the sniper. The sniper will death instead. Oh, I missed. It went right between his goddamn legs. Now it's shooting me in the back. Oh, you? Are you kidding me? I'm... So gonna like kill. Hey, Mr. Krogan, you wanna have a shotgun battle? We'll see who's his bigger. Mine or yours? Dick. All right, where's the other guy? Pop out, pop out. One sec. Okay, fine. You wanna have a sniper battle instead? Bitch. MLG. Headshot. Behind cover. Okay, I'm not MLG at all. But hey, third time's the charm, apparently. Jeez, Shepard, you're out of shape. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have got another achievement. Sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the Conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years... Uh, all the characters the have the same, um, How sitting animation. Exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. I don't know if anybody else is looking yeah. at it, but they all I had their hands, uh... A like one by it, one by their uh, right thigh, and the other is on their in, inner left. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. It was weird. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. Oh. Boring. Someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Wait, what?
What? Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any. That's a little curious. I've been working on this for fifty years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, <coughs> kill all your as most to others would say. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot oh, point to one cold. specific thing to Shit. prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Get to the point. The galaxy is yeah, great. You already said that. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. What it burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. I'm sorry, guys. I, I got really bored. I, only to yeah, I don't even know what the hell's happening physiology. anymore. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. But because I my family's not being quiet, I'm not going to be quiet. So you guys are going to end up missing some stuff for during these uh, story cutscenes. The sorry. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren. You actually want to know what's happening? Course, read the right. captions because sorry, that's, it's curiosity going about as fast as I can read. So. Unfortunately, I do not have any information. And they are as boring as all hell, so I'm Both not gonna romance her. I wish I could actually romance Tally I don't know why in Saren this wanted game. You out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you. It actually would have made me a lot happier because. Tally's going to be my love, my romance in two and three. My knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. Antibiotics will come in handy. In one, I have to choose. We've already got every other non-human species on board. I have to choose between Liara and Ashley. So we're gonna go with the obvious choice. We're gonna stick human, and we're gonna choose. And we're gonna go with Ashley. the last time you ate or slept? Doctor Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doc. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up for I have a now, big Commander. smile on my face. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications, cut, Commander. Oops, I lost your signal. <laughs> of course, there's my brother. So yeah, uh, we got an hour and 15 minutes of shit here. Gotta check all this over, see what audio I can cut, see what else I can do. That's, that sounds like it'll be it for a little bit. And then uh, probably going to play some Halo or do something. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, Minecraft I might do, actually, just because 
Just cause boredom, boredom strikes, you know. But, uh, what time is it? I don't have my watch on, so I can't actually check. I'm hungry, I know that much, so I'm gonna actually get off here in about 15 minutes, 15, 45 minutes. Just so I can actually go make some food and be happy. Now let's go talk to Ashley. See what, see if she wants to talk to us. Cause you know. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm. I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, we have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. The Council's had a grudge against us since the first contact blew up. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, if you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Well, no shit, it's not racism, it's spacism. They're aliens. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? Oh, God damn it. My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens. No, sir. Alright, I'm gonna Mania. skip. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. I no sir. I never knew my. So why are you out here? Just trying to get away from Earth. Earth seemed better days. But right now, it's not the best place to be. I guess without a family, you had no reason. I'm to gonna stay. appeal to her. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That Damn would you and your regs. Order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. <laughs> Stone cold look on the face we'll of later, Commander we'll Shepard. As though he doesn't give a rat ass about anything. You know, I bet you if the galaxy weren't on the line, Commander Shepard would totally be a dick. Be a dick to all the aliens, be like, hey, what's up? I'm a cocky asshole. You guys wanna you wanna shoot at me, bitch? Let's go do shit. I don't know. But that, that's how I imagine. This is how Don Shepard would turn out. He'd be a dick and uh He'd be such a cocky asshole.
go. Oh, we're gonna go to this. Oh, we're actually. No, let's explore a little bit here. We'll stay here. We'll explore. Message coming in. No, I don't give a rat's ass. My name is Nassau. You're interested in hearing. I'm gonna explore for a little bit here, guys. So yeah, it's gonna get really boring. But um, if if I do all the main missions right away, I think it, this might be really short. And I actually want to try and make this uh, make this last for a while until uh, at least for you know just for a long while, so I can actually uh, uh, get some stuff for Mass Effect Three, Mass Effect Two, and uh, just show show off that stuff as well. Because I don't mind doing like all this exploring, but as I, I want to make sure I got the money to do DLCs, stuff like that for you guys, as well as for my own pleasure. And because I uh, got the Mass Effect trilogy, I did get, I believe it was Zaid's side story, and and I, I will be doing that for sure. But I want to be able to do Kasumi Goto as well. Gato or however you want to pronounce it and I also want to do get the Mass Effect 3 full experience because I did get the extended cut but um, I also want to be able to play online as well as uh, just be be able to screw around with other other things uh, what else what else do I want to do in, in these games I also like a lot of the armor that that is DLC, so that's another reason why I want to get the uh, DLC content. And we're gonna do this for a little bit. I'm just looking for a way to kill time if you haven't if you haven't found out yet. Come on, and the Mako. Look at that beautiful side shot there. Oh, and it's saving again. Uh, let's get all the uh, stuff put in here. Put up the advanced shield boost, get some first aid, put something in his sho soldier shoulder. What does this give me? Unlock fitness. What does fitness do for me? That increases my health by an ass load, so we're actually going to go for that as well. And... So yeah, we're gonna do that. Actually, no. Let's do that first. Go there. Go there. And go into first aid as well. Just so when I use it again, I'm actually going to be able to pick up my team with a little bit more health. Uh, let's check out what else I got in here. Oops, alright. So everything's pretty standard. I believe this debris I can't pick up. We'll go check it out. Also, I do like I do like to be in control of how far in or how how close my end marker is going to be to uh, an objective. So um, it that that clicking you guys will hear a lot if I do end up doing exploration between missions. It's going to be me pressing left or right bumper a lot just because I do like be uh, being closer to my objectives than have it be. You know, sitting up on top of this mountain and then be like, oh, hey, your objective is all the way down there in the valley. So, uh, you gotta go climbing down. So, yeah. See? We're gonna get to the objective. Hopefully I can actually grab it. And if not, then poop. It's gonna be this side. Is that what you... I can't, because I don't have electronics. 
how old am I? Am I like a million years old? Because seriously, everybody should be able to know how to hack this shit. Oh, gotta go this, yeah, this way. Shargila. What am I gonna find here? What is that this strong? Oh, it's all the way up there. We're gonna fly. Oh no, that's not what I meant by flying. Really, actually, critical shots. These guys are wrecking my fucking day. Hey, you're back. Why don't you go away? Holy crap. I got them both, look at that. I am totally MLG legit when it comes to sniping with the tank. Get out of there. Alright. Can I save? I can save, good. Because again, I'm probably going to die like 50, 60 times and then we're going to... Just so I'm here and I don't have to, you know, go and fucking get around the area. Because like I said, this game does have ridiculous save points. And if I die here, I'd end up starting from the from the beginning. And I don't want to end up driving over here. And it's annoying. This game is annoying when it comes to that stuff. Enemy is everywhere! Oh, okay, it's a Krogan. Dead. That was a Krogan. And now it's a dead Krogan. That is a pirate with a shotgun. Is it by that explosive thing? Please, please, please. No. Okay, I guess I'm being pushed. Thrown, whatever. I believe they actually changed the name of it like three or four times here. Sorry, Slaver. I believe I was actually supposed to get this mission from Hassan Dantius. Uh, not a good name again. Come on, pop your head up. Ah, Kaden! You miss a throw. You shields are insane. Oh my god, my R2. That's the wrong one. There you go. You need it. Here we go. Heals. Powering up. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, he's up. Okay. I remember there's a door down here, and now we're gonna go over here. And I guess we're just gonna let that guy die. And I'm gonna run into a wall because I'm scratching my eye. Family. 
I can't wait till I'm living on my own. I would totally be able to record in peace. And if I had a girlfriend, maybe, maybe, maybe we'd be happy together. Uh, hanging out at my house. I actually probably wouldn't be recording at any time because it's like, God damn it. See, I was supposed to get this from Son of Dantes. Now I gotta go get the mission, confront her about it, and, uh. Life sucks, yo. Life just sucks. Anyway, it's time to go. We got our objective. I need grenades, though. That looks like an upgrade box. Oh, the med kit. Or medical kit, yeah. Oh, guys, I'm getting tired, probably because I haven't eaten too much today. Anyways, my family keeps talking. Why won't they shut up? So there, that's the objective for you guys. That's how you beat it if you want to know. And we are actually going to return to the Normandy. Say screw the other thing and uh Ah damn. I'll make myself pizza later. Poro Land, the matriarch's writings. 